What is the difference between soluble and insoluble fiber? From your dietitian or nutritionist, you now probably know the benefits of fiber. Dietary fibers not only promote health, they also help reduce the risk from some chronic diseases. There are two types of fiber found in food. Here we will be looking at each type of fiber, their benefits and finally what are the food source of fiber. The first is the insoluble fiber, which is fiber that cannot be dissolved in water. When insoluble fiber passes through our intestines, it mostly remains intact. Soluble fiber on the other hand is water dissolvent. When mixed with liquid, soluble fiber forms a sort of gel. Both insoluble and soluble fibers are undigested. This means that they are not absorbed into the bloodstream to become sources of nourishment for the body. Instead of being used as energy, these fibers are excreted from our bodies. Most foods contain a mixture of soluble and insoluble fibers, which together make up the dietary fiber family. Soluble fibers are the compounds found in your food that dissolve or swell when put into water. These include pectins, gums, mucilages, and some hemicelluloses. Incidentally, some hemicelluloses are insoluble and belong to the insoluble type of dietary fiber. Outside of the body, these compounds exist around plant cells as gum arabic, guar gum, locust bean gum, and pectins. Soluble fibers have almost the same properties as its insoluble cousin. They bind themselves with fatty acids, thus lowering total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol levels. This in turn helps reduce the risk of heart disease. When induced in large amounts, soluble fibers can reduce blood cholesterol. The mechanism is partly due to the ability of soluble fiber to stop or inhibit the intestinal tract from recycling the substance formed from cholesterol, bile. Soluble fibers pull bile into the feces for elimination, rather than eventually accumulating in the blood. On the other hand insoluble fibers unlike its soluble cousin. Insoluble fiber is different from starch. This is because insoluble fiber contains chemical bonds that join individual sugar units that cannot be digested by the enzymes in the human gastrointestinal tract. The components of insoluble fiber are lignans, cellulose, and hemicelluloses. For this reason, this type of dietary fiber is considered as non-carbohydrate carbohydrate. All the compounds in insoluble fiber form the structural parts of plants and do not readily dissolve in water. They are not metabolized by intestinal bacteria. Health benefits of insoluble fiber. Insoluble fibers help in ridding the body of wastes. They are very important because they give mass to the stool, helping to ease elimination. The fiber is very porous and absorbent. It helps hold water in the intestine. After consuming enough fiber, the water-retaining property of insoluble fibers helps to enlarge and soften the stool. As a result, less pressure is required to expel the stool. The ability of insoluble fibers to increase fecal bulk and decrease intestinal transit time helps reduce the risk of diverticulosis. This is a condition that affects the excretory system, causing small pouches to form outside of the intestinal wall which may become infected. Insoluble fibers are the best fibers for increasing stool size. Certain types of hemicelluloses are particularly effective in improving fecal bulk for easier elimination. The fibrous covering of grain kernels, which is bran, is rich in hemicelluloses. Bran layers constitute the outer covering of all grains so if you're looking for insoluble fibers, whole grains are good sources. Health benefits of soluble fiber Soluble fibers have almost the same properties as its insoluble cousin. They bind themselves with fatty acids, thus lowering total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol levels. This in turn helps reduce the risk of heart disease. When induced in large amounts, soluble fibers can reduce blood cholesterol. 
The mechanism is partly due to the ability of soluble fiber to stop or inhibit the intestinal tract from recycling the substance formed from cholesterol bile. Soluble fibers pull bile into the feces for elimination, rather than eventually accumulating in the blood. Soluble fibers also help in prolonging the stomach's emptying time. In this way, the food is stored inside the stomach long enough for sugar to be released. The slow release of sugar causes the body to absorb it more slowly. People with diabetes benefit a lot from consuming soluble fibers. They help regulate blood sugar levels and ensure that balance is kept in the body's many functions. Soluble fiber is beneficial in moderating levels of glucose in the blood. Consuming large amounts of soluble fibers slow glucose absorption from the small intestine, thereby allowing the body to absorb sugar in small doses. In addition, the results of a recent study conducted show that soluble fiber can help delay gastric emptying. This makes it useful in preventing overeating since it results in a feeling of satiety. What are the food source of fiber? Most fibers are found in fruits and vegetables. Whole wheat products which you can find plenty in grocery stores are also good sources of soluble fibers. However, be careful when choosing the whole wheat product to buy. Some products boldly say in the label that it's whole wheat when in fact, upon closer inspection, it's really just white flour. When buying whole wheat, be sure to avoid flour and unbleached flour in the label as both of these just refer to white flour. It is important to note that while in high fiber diet, a high fluid intake is important. This helps move the bulk efficiently through the colon. Thank you for watching.